Hey guys, how's it going? Got a bit of a new video for you. Uh, gonna be doing a live showdown team builder. Um, seeing as my name is Brother Arcanine, I figured the best thing to do would be to do a UU around Arcanine. Alright, so we'll figure out that ability in a second, figure out the item and all that. Um, Arcanine can be played in a couple different ways, either defensive or offensive. Uh, I really like him uh, defensive. I usually build him offensive, so I'm going to try and build him defensive today. Um, first thing you need on him is Morning Sun. <clears throat> it uh, obviously gives him health back. Next, you need a little extreme speed because priority is always important. Next we need our stab, and we're going to make him physical, so we're going to go with Flare Blitz. And then our next move, we got a few options here. Um, seeing as things like Chandelure are in UU, you could go with Crunch. So, see some other options here. Uh, no Wild Charge is pretty common, but... Uh, probably build something else to take care of the pesky water types and all that. So I think we're good with uh, this setup here. Uh, could give him lefties, but uh, another good option is the rocky helmet, because then we can be damaging people as we're getting hit and stall out things that can't really handle us. Alright, so I think I'll make him max HP. And perhaps max special defense. Well, we want to keep our defense pretty high, so maybe we'll max out the defense of that stat. There we go. So let's give him a bit more defense. We're going to be playing around with this and we'll uh, move it around a lot. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Alright, so we're going to be playing around with this. We're going to do a battle and see how that all turns out and make adjustments as we need to. Alright, next up, um, <clears throat> need something to deal with the uh, ground and rock types and I want something super offensive and I've already made my choice there. Gonna go with a uh, Mega Blastoise. He is oh, just crazy. Just absolutely crazy. He's a monster. Uh, I mean, just look at these stats. So, gonna make him full offensive, uh, special attack, and uh, what else do we want to do? Max out that HP, probably. And give him a little bit in special defense. And like I said, I just want this guy to be a complete monster, so I'm going to give him a uh, modest nature. I mean, look at that stat. 405? That's crazy. So, uh, his Mega Launcher ability uh, increases certain moves like uh, Dark Pulse, Aura Sphere, Dragon Pulse, uh, a bunch of other ones, but uh, those are pretty much just a few of them I'm going to be putting on. I also, uh, Stealth Rocks are a problem for Arcanine, so I'm going to make him our Rapid Spinner. I'm going to give him Aura Sphere, uh, probably Scald. It doesn't get a boost from his ability, but it's a, just a good stab move with some chances to burn. And Obviously, if things are burned, they're not going to be hurting Arcanine too much, and that rocket helmet, Rocky Helmet comes in really handy. And then it's between Dark and Dragon Pulse. Uh, Dragon Pulse is a little bit stronger, and but uh, we have a chance to outspeed a few things here, so could go with uh, Dark Pulse. So uh, yeah, let's go with Dark Pulse for now, and we'll switch that as we need to. All right, what else do we got here? Um, so we got our defensive wall. I want a specially defensive wall. A uh, really good specially defensive wall that I like is Florgus. Uh, I'm not a big fan 
of fairy types, to be completely honest. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I like Florgus because it uh, has excellent special defense and uh, it's also a, a good special attacker as well. So, the only problem is, of course, it, that, that lousy defense. So, anyway, we're going to be making it. Deep, deep. Uh, let's just see how high up we can get that defense, actually, because this will decide my item here. A lot of people run leftovers on it. Um, I'm considering just throwing an assault vest on this thing. Because that would be disgusting. But that kind of limits its options. I'd want to make it a full on specialist hacker then, and I'd have to take out some stats either in defense or HP. Uh, not really down to do that, so actually we'll just stick with the classic leftovers. But maybe we'll switch it up after a couple battles and see what we can't do. Alright, so. Basically, I like having the Calm Mind on there, because if you can set up with this thing, it's just going to be absolutely disgusting. Um, then we need Moonblast, because it's the strongest Fairy-type move. I think it's just a disgusting move, just in general. I mean, it's so powerful, completely 100% accuracy, and it has a chance to lower your opponent's special attack, which is, you know, also handy for uh, keeping our Arcanine healthy. What else do we want to give this thing? Um, could give it a synthesis, keep that that thing healthy. Could also make it a wish passer, uh, wish protect, also a good option. Um, wish protect is just so good, but I also hate it, and it's not really that useful if you. Like if we switched out to Toxic, put in Toxic instead of Calm Mind, I think it would wish Protect would be better. But since it's not, I think we'll do Synthesis and maybe Giga Drain. Yeah, why not? Need some grass type moves on here. So that's looking pretty pretty good and healthy. Uh, now what do we need? Let's see here. Uh, Blastoise is weak against electric, obviously, and grass, but since we already have the grass covered, I want to get us a good ground type. So what's good in UU? That's ground. I know Don Fan's in UU. Uh, yeah, here we go. Don Fan, Gligar, Crocodile, Mamoswine, both are Nidos. Swampert, we've already got the Mega and Blastoise, so we don't need another one there. Um, having two Intimidators would really, really be helpful. Because then it basically makes uh, physical threats uh, not, not threats at all. So, could go in with a, a Crocodile here. Uh, you can Choice Band or Choice Scarf it. I mean, you can do other things too. Do whatever you want, really. But, uh... Let's see what kind of moves we got. Go from there. Gonna definitely give this guy a knockoff. And then Earthquake, probably. And see what other kind of cool things we can go for. Uh, crunch it up. Hmm. A lot of good things on here. Stealth Rocks. If you're going to scarf it, it's not the best thing to have uh, Stealth Rocks, but I've seen people do it before and just get their Stealth Rocks up and then switch out. Um, of course, we don't have to choice this thing in any fashion. We could do something else with it. Life Orb would be pretty interesting, but uh, just looking at its defenses, I don't think it'll be staying around too long with a Life Orb. So probably going to choice Scarf this thing, and with that in mind, we're going to just look for its most powerful moves. Uh, ooh, Foul Play. Well, if we're going to be intimidating, I don't want to use Foul Play. Uh, Outrage. Get locked into that. 
I could be about that. Yeah, why not? Let's give it a uh, outrage. And nope, oh, that's focus blast. Don't know why I clicked that. And let's switch this out for something else that's interesting. Uh, Earthquake's clearly, decidedly the best uh, ground type move. And just not sold on that foul play. Maybe we'll just throw a crunch on it, make it an all-out attacker. And what's your speed top out at? Eleven. Let's compare that to some of our other folks here. So you're damn fast. Not really seeing much need for the scarf. Might just band you then. And in that case, there we go. Now what else do we need here? Uh, Really relying on Arcanine for those grass Pokemon. So maybe a flying type because of ground types. Alright, gonna check out Smogan UU. Uh, looking for a good flying type potentially. Um, I also wanted to see if there were like any grass ground combos, but none come to mind, so probably good. Alright. I don't like using legendaries typically, so not really feeling Zapdos there. Salamence, oh. If we give this thing <clears throat> excuse me, if we give this thing intimidate as well, it's just like we are not we're laughing at every single physical threat that exists. Um, Honchkrow, super cool Pokemon. Hmm. So many nice Pokemon. Alright, well, I'm kind of really feeling the ments there. Yeah, Salamence. So let's throw Salamence on there. Keep the Intimidate. Um, just looking for some good physical dragon moves. Um, well, I like that power, but I hate using moves that just don't have any accuracy. So. Yeah, well, we'll use Dragon Dance, and Dragon Dance with Dragon Claw, that's going to be good for some options. And what really hurts us, Ice types, so let's see what he's got here. Brick Break, Stone Edge, Rock Slide, and... Fire Fang. Trying to feel in that Stone Edge. Just to handle ice types that come in. But uh, some common ice types that we'll be seeing. Uh, like Mamoswine. Really resist that. Yeah, so Mamoswine is not weak to. Uh, rock types, and he's probably going to be our most common ice type threat. So he's weak to steel, though, and we get Iron Tail. Oh, just abysmal accuracy, though. Such tough decisions. Um, I don't think we get a good water, physical water move. If we got waterfall, it would be no questions asked. Aqua Tail. Hmm. I think we'll run Iron Tail on it, even though I hate that that defense. And then probably a Life Orb. And that's looking like a pretty scary mens. Let's just get these EVs all handled first. 
Um, definitely going to want to max out the speed. And attack. And we'll give you... There we go. So make it a jolly nature. And this thing is just running rampant. It's even faster than crocodile. Something to keep in mind, you know, obviously we're going to make adjustments as we go. So might end up uh, <coughs> giving it a positive attack nature instead and bringing it from 333 to 366. And then just choice scarfing it. Oopsie. But, uh, yep, now we need our last poke. Usually I'll uh, go through and see what what uh, moves I have and what I'm not hitting hard, so I'll just do that real quick. All right, so after going over all the moves we have, uh, we have no coverage for flying or uh, water types. So, obviously, a common weakness there is electric types. So we're going to find ourselves a good electric UU Pokemon. Um, use this Zapdos just keeps wanting to come into my life. And I might just let it. Galvancho is also pretty nice for some hazards. Getting that uh, sticky web up. And pretty much I'd either go Galvantula for some hazards and some electric coverage or Zapdos just to be sort of an all-out attacker so since I said I don't like legendaries let's go with Galvantula although I'm kinda leaning towards Zapdos so we'll see what happens in the team builder or uh, in the actual battle we'll see what happens and then we'll make adjustments as we need to Alright, so we got our sticky web first and foremost, but gonna need that thunderbolt as well. Gonna need the bolt switch. And then in case something wants to come in, maybe bug buzz. I think that's our strongest bug type move. Yeah. Bug buzz and gonna be making this thing fast as hell. Give it a timid nature. And yes, put those four in HP. Alright, so thinking about an item for this thing. If I don't put on Sticky Web, I'd love the choice specs this thing, to be honest. <coughs> Maybe we'll go to Sticky Web. What else you got for me? Got Energy Ball is a strong move. Hyper Beam, just for giggles. Sure, let's do Hyper Beam, just for giggles. Um, and then we'll choose Specs You. Alright, so, quick overview. Got our defensive Arcanine with uh, Morning Sun, Extreme Speed, Flare Blitz, and Crunch. Rocking the Intimidate and Rocky Helmet. Got our Mega Launcher, Mega Blastoise. Uh, he's our Rapid Spinner to help out... Uh, Arcanine and now uh, Salamence. I think Elvangela takes decent damage to rocks as well. And then he's rocking out his Mega Launcher boosted Aura Sphere and Dark Pulse and his Stab Scald. Also hoping to get some burns on some things there. Next, we got our specially defensive wall. Uh, Forges, obviously. Uh, Calm Mind boosting. Got Synthesis, got Moonblast. And where did Grass Knot come from? This I don't know. Don't know why that happened. Giga Drain, that's why, misclick. Alright, so yeah, Calm Mind, Moon Blast, Emphasis, Giga Drain, Leftovers, super bulky, super, super bulky. Uh, then we got our uh, uh, Intimidating Choice Banded Crocodile, Knock Off, Earthquake, Crunch, Outrage, Jolly Nature. Uh, yeah, this is our second Intimidator. And then we got our third Intimidator. Might change some things to Moxium, but I mean, this way, uh, yeah. yeah. Basically, physical attackers on the opponent's team are just not going to have any fun. I uh, got a D dance up, this is the plan, and uh, then either Outrage or Dragon Claw, depending on the situation. 
We got ourselves a life orb, boost damage, and iron tail for those annoying fairies, and uh, and uh, it's just a stronger move, so that's what we wanted to put on there. And then we got our choice specs, scary as all things, uh, Galvantula, Thunderbolt, Bull Switch, Bug Buzz, and Hyper Beam, just for giggles. Alright, so we're going to test this team out now, let's see what happens. Alright guys, so I did a couple uh, showdown battles, and just want to get right into uh, the battles and uh, show you how you went. I played the three, and uh, one, the first one was a forfeit, and then the other two were victories, so I'm feeling pretty damn good about this team. Obviously it can't go off just three, but it seems like it's working out pretty well for us. So let's just go through this first battle here. Uh, decide to lead with good old Mega Blastoise, and he leads with his Suicide Forges. Catches me off guard here with a surprise Thunderbolt, but luckily I lived that, and I guess he wasn't expecting this Dark Pulse, because it one-shots. Um, so we win that there, then this uh, Salamence comes in, obviously with the Moxie, and uh, it gets its Moxie boost, which is super poopy, and uh, takes out our Blastoise. So to counter it, I bring in my Forges, because I know it's locked into Outrage, and since it can't switch, I get a nice Calm Mind up there. And then uh, here I'm thinking I can go for a Moonblast, but unfortunately he switches into Nido Queen, and it does pretty much nothing to it. I do get a special attack drop, which is, I guess, nice. Uh, kind of predicted it to go for like a Poison-type move, so we just switch into Crocodile to eat that up there. But it goes for a Toxic, which Poison-type move, but not the one I was expecting. Anyways, expecting it to switch out here, but it just goes and eats up that earthquake. So there goes a Nido Queen. I predicted Salamence to come in here, but luckily Suicune comes in, so I'm able to stay in and go for another earthquake. Does a lot of damage, more than I thought it was gonna do, and well we live the scold, but you know, Toxic's gonna take us out here unfortunately. But no worries there, because we're just gonna send in Galvantula and this Thunderbolt just does work to his entire team, so I'm not worried about locking myself into it. Agron comes out, it's going to be the Mega Agron, and I was expecting this to do 40%, it does like 70, so crazy. And uh, we are going to outspeed, and nothing's going to want to take another Thunderbolt, so he's just going to let Agron go down there. And then Men's obvious switch in, and I thought we were going to outspeed here, but guess what? He's choice scarfed Stone Edge, so I'm realizing stuck into Stone Edge, going to go into Mence, need to get rid of that Moxie, and just kind of hope we can live this, but luckily he just fully misses, and our Life Orb Outrage is going to take care of that Mence. Uh, next, obviously, is going to come in the Cloister, and I knew it was going to be Icicle Spear, but I didn't want anything taking damage. Uh, Arcanine probably could have came in, but I didn't know what other moves he'd have and didn't want to waste Arcanine, so... Send in Florigus instead, and uh, Icicle Spear does a healthy chunk, a little bit over half, but uh, our, our Giga Drain is just going to completely destroy this thing. So, nice. That's a 2-0 in our favor on the first battle. And our second battle here, getting right off. We're entering in with Salamence this time against a Weezing. Uh, I get a little cheeky here. <clears throat> Do a turn one setup with a Dragon Dance. And he's going to set up his Toxic Spikes. Uh, that's uh, kind of a problem because I don't have anything to absorb those. But I uh, just decided to go for an Outrage here, even though it's a defensive wall, and this Quagsire just does not like that hit at all. Don't know why I switched in Quagsire, don't know why I stayed in when he had a Grand Bully could have switched into. But uh, now Salamence just, he's, he's just amazing in this next little bit here. Breaks through this confusion, almost takes out Weezing. Weezing gets up its next layer of Toxic Spikes, and then Salamence gonna go for another Outrage here, and guess what? Breaks through that, takes out the Weezing. Amazing. Just MVP right now. Two kills for this thing. Fantastic. Gramble's finally coming in. I'm gonna get rid of our attack that we got from our D-Dance, and we're finally gonna hit ourselves in confusion. For some reason it goes for Earthquake. Obviously we don't take any damage from that, and I just feel a little cheeky and like staying in. So, realizing that he's, you know, into Reuniclus now, I'm probably not gonna go back out into Gramble. We'll just go for another Outrage. And we almost take out this Reuniclus, but then he goes for a Trick Room, and next turn he's able to take us out with this Psy Shock here. Uh, didn't know what to do, since we had nothing that was slow enough to uh, really take out, <coughs> you know, outspeed this Reuniclus, but I realized my Arcanine here has extreme speed. Take out the Reuniclus. 
Beautiful, beautiful work there. And then I'm realizing Arcanine is not really useful against anything on his team, so I'm just going to let him die and get a little bit of chip damage off with this extreme speed. Now I'm going to die of this earth power. Saw that coming a mile away. So now I'm like, okay, obviously Blastoise needs to come in. And uh, I'm going to go for a uh, Scald here. Uh, yes, we use of earth power. And, uh, you know, I didn't uh, really feel like getting, like, sending Blastoise in to take the obvious Earth power because, you know, obviously two hits here would have taken out Blastoise, so that was a good call on my part. Uh, and we were able to take it out with the Scald, and now the room's back to normal. And now this Gramble here is going to unfortunately take us out, but I know I'm going to outspeed, so I just take the opportunity to get rid of those uh, Toxic Spikes because I didn't know if he was going to be a, a Stolly Embryon or what he was going to do to me. So I make kind of a misplay here. I go for a Calm Mind, and his play rough is almost going to take me out. So luckily I have speed, and I'm able to get one Moon Blast off. But seeing this damage here, obviously I should have just went for double Moon Blast. Probably would have cleaned up with Florges, but, you know, live and learn. And then I'm realizing Galvantula cleans up here. Just going to Choice Specs, Bug Buzz, take out Granbull, and then uh, we're also going to take out the Umbreon here. Um... You know, uh, he makes a, a weird play here. He goes for a, a curse. I don't know why you'd go for a curse here, but I guess he pretty much just realized he's going to lose and was kind of hoping to set up on me, I guess. But, yep, did not get the chance to, and that's another win for us. So, all in all, uh, we got a pretty excellent team here. Go ahead and uh, copy it if you like. I'll leave it in the description. And I uh, hope you guys like watching. Let me know what other tiers you want to see. Let me know if you want to see me battle with... Uh, some of your sets, and uh, we'll try to make that happen. All right, guys, have a good one. This has been Brother Arcanine. See you around.